So I feel like my weekly vlogs are just gonna be me updating you on my work life. So today I was back on Sunset, back at home, you know. Low key, I was really sad about it because I haven't been there in like a week. So, oh God, I have to rest my arm, I'm so tired. Um, had a seven hour shift today, wasn't bad, back on Sunset, but yesterday was, oh God, what's the name of it? Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, I think is somewhere close to the correct name of that new area. Um, but added to the sunset rotation now starts with Cruz Ramirez, who technically is not labeled as a character because it's not, it's technically an icon. So all day they were bouncing me like away from it. Like I never actually got to pick it up. And I was like, I just want to go over there and like see what's up because I haven't been in that area. So I called and I was like, is there a reason that I'm like be being bounced away from Cruz? And they're like, oh no. And I'm like, what? And they're like, oh, you didn't have proficiencies in Cruz. And like to let the record show, you normally need proficiencies for certain things that you go through training, like view or characters. Like I wasn't getting characters before I was character trained, which makes sense. So I was like, is there anything different in there? And they're like, no, it's just new. So you didn't have proficiencies in it. We just had to update it and now you're good. And I was like, oh, all right. So I keep looking at myself and not over here. I, it's fine. I'm just looking at how much makeup I have underneath my face. It's okay. So eventually I got to cruise later in the day and Cece was there, shout out. And Cruz was there. Technically, Cruz usually jumps around and blinks her eyes, but she was sleeping today and yesterday, opening day, because her friend, there's like a DJ car. Not that I really know because I haven't seen the movie, but he's sleeping, so therefore Cruz is sleeping. So that was the time. That's okay. It's fine. They say the little phrase, it's adorable. The main point is that the DJ car plays some bangers. They played, of course, Life is a Highway. I jammed, it was great. They played oldies, they played new like songs, they were playing Shut Up and Dance, and I was like, oh, shut up, Disney, I see you. It was lit, I low-key love it over there, it's awesome. It's like a little in a corner by yourself, it's great. The only default, the, the only default? The only downside is that the exit to like the little show with Lightning McQueen is near like the exit of the cruise area and there's no like actual queue to queue up for cruise. It's kind of just like taped on the ground like here go over here. So people would keep trying to come up when people were waiting online so people would get angry. But other than that it was great. That's not really their fault. It's Disney's fault. But that's okay. <laughs> it's me, your girl filming once again from a chick-fil-a waiting line with that red brake light lighting today was a thrill so like we was talking about i think in the last clip basically the chick-fil-a employee is just judging me hold on judgy You know, I'ma just wait a second because they are all over the place. I don't know what they're doing. There's like just three employees with their little vests on. This is a time and a cop. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be filming. Hold on. This person left their windows open all night in Florida and honestly a dangerous game. So it is now a day later because I forgot to film later on. Oh well. The Chick-fil-A was good though. Um, what was I gonna talk about? Oh, so yesterday my work day was a thrill. Yesterday and today I both have float shifts, which basically means they put me wherever they want to put me. If there's a call-in, they put me there. I'm pretty sure if there's no call-ins and they don't need me anywhere, they'll just put me on sunset. Which is, there is a security officer riding a bicycle around the parking lot. I mean... You work on your fitness, you go, sir, but he's been going in laps, and I'm like, damn, he's, like, getting fit on Dizzy's hour, damn. Anyway, <laughs> so yesterday, I was fully expecting to be on Sunset, because why not? I live there. It's my home. So to my surprise, I'm put in center, which is amazing, because I very much was like, I'm never gonna get center shifts. This guy's still doing laps. I don't know if you can see him drive by, we'll see. There he is. I don't know what he's doing. 
making sure we're all safe, I guess. Uh, but I was placed at center, which is awesome because it's all characters, except for if they're like overstaffed, they have a rotation where you just go walk around Muppet Courtyard and take pictures, which is also cool because it's Muppet Courtyard, so why not? So it's Mickey Minnie and their little fancy attire, Olaf, Chipdale, and Goofy, I think are all the ones there. I got to shoot Minnie a few times, Olaf, and Goofy. Never, well technically I picked up Chippendale, but by the time I picked them up, it was their eggcorn break. So they went to go get some eggcorns for like 45 minutes, so I just chilled. But then what happened was I got like an alert on my PDA that was like, I started at like noon-ish, noon 12.15 started at 12.15 and they were like, oh, at 4.15 you're gonna go to, like, go over to animation and I'm like, alright, like, it's not horrible, I'd rather stay at center, but that's okay. So then I went over to animation and I was at doc for a little bit. Was I at doc, like, the whole time? I was at doc a lot and I was at doc for a long time and then I got pulled for my break again because I had two 30s because I worked so much, which was awesome. I usually only have a 15 minute break, but I had two 30s, which was amazing. So then I went to break and then I got Doc again. And then at the end of the night, I went to Vampirina for like 20 minutes, which was cool because Vampirina was the only one I've never shot before. So now I've shot everybody in animation. And then like about five minutes before they were literally done for the night, I got pulled to go to Hollywood, which was a time. But you know, it wasn't sunset, so I couldn't complain, which was lit. Someone just pulled behind me, so I accidentally clicked the stop button out of, like, pure panic. But today I have a float shift, too, and I don't know where I'm going to be, so hype to see. Hey, y'all. Been having a lazy day, doing nothing, and it's Thursday, and it's around 6-something-ish. I don't know what time it is. I don't have a clock. Anyways, tomorrow's Friday and I have my 3 a.m. shift and honestly, I'm low-key a mess because I'm not tired at all and I should be going to bed, but I'm not. So I'm probably going to go on like an hour or two of sleep and then hopefully by the time I get home, I can just pass out and go to sleep because I get off at 9. So next time I see you, if I remember, we'll see how tired I am. It'll be like two o'clock in the morning, but we'll see. So it is about 1.40 in the morning, leaving a little early because I never went to sleep anyway. So I'm gonna head to the Walgreens that's by Vista that's 24 hours and see if I can get a five hour energy or something. Because honestly, I feel okay now, but I feel like in an hour or two, I might drop dead. So we're gonna see if I can find something. I just got to the Walgreens and I low-key feel like I'm gonna get murdered here. Update. Got them. They wouldn't only let me buy one, so I have two, but I'll probably only be taking half of it because since I don't drink caffeine, the full one might actually kill me. I also got, as it says, 8,000 times regular strength because they had like the ultra extreme ones and I was like, that will probably put me into cardiac arrest. So we'll see if this helps at all. And stuff on the back and woo, that was a mistake. But up here, it has... Oh god, focus. It has 20,000% of daily value of B12. 20,000. I mean, that's gonna kill me, right? 20,000 things of B12? What? So it is 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm at Epcot and I'm early. By like an hour. Today didn't care about makeup other than mascara ran out of the house it's gonna be dark the majority of my shift anyway who cares i think today i'm gonna be at metal backdrop which i think is just taking pictures of people with their medals which is fine because at least today people will be happy because they'll be able to run the race without a rain delay hopefully it's not supposed to rain but yesterday i worked with the ebox which was amazing um it was a super easy shift because it was only six hours and then I realized afterwards that half of them, literally three hours, was me sitting in an RV because of the rain and the thunder and lightning. So that was the time. But today I only work 
like shooting 515 to 9 and then I'm going over to ESPN after the like right after this to go tag the photos. So that's fun. Recap of Run Disney weekend since it is now Sunday night and it is all done, which I'm kind of sad about. It was really fun. I had a great time. But I'm also super tired, so I'm not that upset that it's over. Um, but I would do it again. I wouldn't be able to do that if it was like a constant thing, but I would do another race. That was awesome. And people like honestly talked a lot of crap about like doing one of the Run Disney stuff, but I didn't see the problem with it. I don't know. Maybe it was different management team. I'm not sure. But Friday I got to work with the Ewoks, which was awesome. That was my 3 a.m. shift. Then I did metal backdrops on Saturday, which is basically at the end of the race after they finish the race, get the medical attention they need if they need it, get their snacks and water, and then while they're like going to either go meet the characters again or just go like reunite with their family or and stuff like that, we have little places where after they get their medals, because they get their medals right at the end of the race, obviously, um, we have like photo ops where it's like a run Disney wall and then we have like paddles that say whatever race it was and then we could take pictures of them honestly all sweaty and gross but like accomplishment because they ran a race it's awesome so and it's awesome too because since we're so busy we only take one photo it's one photo go one photo go one photo go and it's like awesome um so that was fun I mean honestly the time went by super quick because you literally constantly had a line the first like hour which I mean was fine because by the time we set up, walked over there, blah, 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 really only was like 15, 20 minutes, was like kind of dead because it was like the first few runners who just ran, like sprinted the whole thing. But once you got to like the middle of the race, it was fine. It was super busy. And I also did the same thing uh, today on Sunday. I did metal backdrop too. And then at the end of Saturday's shift and then five and a half hours after today's shift, I had tagging over at ESPN. So basically... At the races we don't scan anything we have like action photographers and all that just take pictures of them running and stuff like that and I'm kind of hyper because I was just sitting in a chair for like five hours so I'm like but basically like the number on the bib number that they have is how we they connect to their accounts so basically what we had to do was for all like that I didn't see any character or like the metal backdrops but basically all like the action shots we have to go through them and any number we see have to like type into the computer. Which I got real good at the number pad because they basically had like a counter on the computer on how many photos you were doing per minute. And it's not like someone was looking over your shoulder or if you went over or under. If you went out, mostly under, if you went over it's fine. But it's not like if you went under a certain amount of photos per minute someone would come and like kick you out. Like that wasn't a thing but they very much were like this is how many photos you're doing a minute this is how many photos you have done and it was kind of stressful like I was like oh my god because if you had a photo from like the finish line and there was like eight people there and you could all see their numbers you had to like put them in so that would take longer than someone who had like a solo photo so that was a time my first day I average of like 10 a minute which I mean that's very average they very much are like eight you need to be doing at least eight so 10 was good, and then today I averaged about 14, 15. So I got better, uh, but they had, like, propaganda that was, like, talking a lot about, like, how you should be doing eight, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I literally was like, can I have one of these? Because I thought it was funny. I'm going to see if I can put, I think I took a few photos of them. So I'll see if I can put them in here. 